Today we finish the prophetic book of Zechariah, and chapter 14 contains this message of great hope. On that day, the sources of light will no longer shine. Yet, there will be continuous day. Only the Lord knows how this could happen. There will be no normal day and night, for at evening time, it will still be light. On that day, life-giving waters will flow out of Jerusalem, half toward the Dead Sea and half toward the Mediterranean, flowing continuously in both summer and winter. And the Lord will be king over all the earth. On that day, there will be one Lord. His name alone will be worshipped. The phrase life-giving water has also been translated living water. To those originally hearing this prophecy, it would have meant that the water was flowing like from a spring or a waterfall rather than stale water that had been collected in a cistern. And someday soon, this pure, fresh, flowing water will run from Jerusalem in two directions. Part of the spring will flow to the east toward the now Dead Sea, and the other part will flow west to the Mediterranean Sea. It seems it will run continuously for a thousand years and not dry up, making the desert blossom as the rose even in summer. So these waters are not only flowing waters, but they're life-giving waters. John in chapter 14 of his gospel tells how Jesus went out of his way to encounter a Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. He surprised the woman by asking her for a drink of water, something a Jewish man would never ask of a Samaritan woman. But Jesus explained, saying, anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give them will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh, bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. And here's the thing, in each of these texts, it's the same kind of water. It's fresh, it's flowing, it's life-giving, it's everlasting. It's the water that only comes from Jesus, the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit poured out on all those who believe. In Ephesians 5, Paul said, don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, this life-giving water. And here's what happens. You'll be singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord in your hearts and give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's ask the Lord today to fill us with his life-giving water.